Now more than ever, cybersecurity is top of mind for many. Idaho's home to critical infrastructure like dams, the Idaho National Lab, and a portion of the power grid. So what happens if this critical infrastructure is targeted in a cyber attack? Idaho News 6 reporter Anna Azalian finds out. Cybersecurity is a team effort, especially when critical infrastructure like the power grid or banking systems are involved. We are doing our best and working to make sure that they stay safe and there's we're doing just you know, everything that should be done. So there's no reason to believe that we are not prepared. The threat of a cyber attack isn't new. Neither is the threat of Russia targeting the US with a cyber attack. I think that there is a, a really strong need and across the nation, there's a strong need for individual citizens, businesses and government agencies of all sizes to really uh, uh, step up the necessary awareness and uh, the necessary um, uh, diligence to thwart attacks wherever we possibly can. Russia is always probing. Russia is always looking for things. And it doesn't matter if you're in California or Idaho, they're looking for any sort of a threat. The level of risk has risen in the last week and a half. We've had to step up our monitoring and we, we've set, you know, changed some settings uh, that are specific to that, but I can't get into the details of that for obvious reasons. There is no such thing as 100% security. Multiple agencies are involved in cybersecurity. ITS works on prevention for Idaho government systems. If were to happen, uh, so let's say either an nail or a dam or something like that, or even if a bank or a major bank was you know, taken off, um, you know, there's, there are procedures in place. First, the incident gets reported. If it's at a certain level and an emergency is declared, the Idaho Office of Emergency Management would get involved with an emergency response team that responds to the incident. And we are also very closely aligned with our federal partners like the FBI and DHS and all of the other ones to be, you know, getting in the threats and, you know, walking through, is it real? You know, do we need to work on these things? In Boise, Anna Azalian, Idaho News 6.